Hello everyone. Welcome to another Coding Fundamentals in GML tutorial. My name is Sam Spade and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about data structures. This is going to be an introduction to data structures and it's going to be part one of the introduction to data structures. So what are data structures? A data structure is a collection of values, the relationships between them, and the functions or operations that can be applied to that data. We've already talked at length about one type of data structure, which is the array. It's a collection of values in a list form. It has a variety of built-in functions. We talked about how you can interact and use that data. GameMaker Studio 2 has several other built-in data structures that operate a little bit differently, and you can also make your own. In these introductions, we're going to be talking almost exclusively about the built-in GameMaker Studio 2 data structures. And we'll have another set of tutorials on building your own custom data structures. The reason that we're going to focus on the built-in GameMaker Studio data structures is that they all have some specific things in common that are unique to them and are important to understand. Additionally, the built-in GameMaker Studio data structures are some of the most common data structures that you will use. There are six built-in data structures. They all start with the prefix DS. You have DS list, DS grid, DS map, DS stack, DS queue, and DS priority queue, which is just called a DS priority. So in part one of the introduction, we're going to be talking about the data structure variable and accessors. And then in part two, we're going to be talking about memory management and data structure scope. So this is a quote directly from the manual. And I normally try not to read in these, but I think that this quote is so good at describing how data structures in GameMaker Studio work or how the built-in data structures work that I am just going to read it verbatim. It says, essentially, all data structures work in the same way. You create a data structure and store its index value in a variable. You then use this index to reference the data structure and all further function calls that can perform operations on it. Finally, once you are done, you destroy the data structure again to remove it from memory. I've tried to highlight the most important parts here to my mind. The first part is you create a data structure. This is the first thing you should know about all built-in data structures in GameMaker Studio 2. You have to create them, and you always create them with a special function. You have DS list create, DS map create, DS grid create. They all follow the same formula. The next thing you know is that the built-in function that creates the data structure returns an index value for that data structure. This index value is not a special data type. It's just an integer. And you have to save that integer to a variable. So whenever you create a data structure, you'll be saving that data structure's index to a variable. That variable and other variables, multiple variables can hold a reference to the same data structure and then use that index to perform functions on the data structure. And then finally, whenever you are done with a data structure, you have to destroy it. And again, there's a built-in function for this. We'll talk more about why you have to destroy it in part two of the introduction, but you do need to destroy every data structure you create. So whenever you create a data structure with DS, and then this would be filled in with the, the type of data structure you're creating, DS list, DS map, create, etc., it will create a data structure. But importantly, it creates that data structure somewhere else. I don't know how GameMaker Studio 2 handles it uh, under the hood. My guess is they have an object or something like that somewhere, but it creates it somewhere else. What it does then is it returns the index right here, which again is just an uh, integer, and you save that index to a variable. You store the index in a variable. So that creates the data structure somewhere else. The data structure exists outside of the instance that creates it. The only thing that is inside of the instance that creates the data structure is the variable holding the index. And if this is confusing, we'll see some more examples. But the takeaway here, I think the, the most important takeaway for me is that the data structure is not existing inside the instance in the way that a normal variable would. So let's talk more about that index. It is a reference to the data structure. It is an integer and not its own data type. And, and this is the very important part, GameMaker Studio 2 does not know that that number is a data structure unless you tell it. And so this means that every built-in function or whenever you are referencing or using a data structure, you must tell GameMaker Studio 2 that you are using a data structure and what type of data structure you are using. And there's really two ways to do this. You either use the built-in functions for that data structure or in some cases you can use the data structures accessor. There are three data structures that allow you to use an accessor and they are the list, the grid, and a map. The accessor allows you to add, replace, or get values from that data structure. The list accessor is the pipe. The grid accessor is the hashtag or pound sign. The map accessor is the question mark. So for a list, you would use the pipe and then the index. 
much like for an array, how you would use the at sign and then the index. For a grid, you use the hashtag and then the column and then the row. And then for a map, you use a question mark and then the key. And don't worry too much about this because we'll go over each data structure. We're going to have a tutorial for each data structure and we'll go over the accessor and how the data structure works in greater depth in those tutorials. But for now, just know that there are accessors for these three types of data structures. And in general, they look like this. All right, let's switch over to GameMaker Studio 2 and see a couple examples. Okay, as always, I put a breakpoint and pause in the debugger. We're going to create three different data structures. We're going to do a short accessor demonstration, and then we're going to destroy our data structure, and that will be it. We have my list equals DS list create. Again, whenever you want to create a data structure, you have to use the built-in game maker function DS, the type of data structure create. The list doesn't take any additional variables, and you have to save the index that it creates to a variable. So my list equals DS list create creates my list. And notice that over here, the value is just zero because as we said, the index for a list is not a special data type, it's just an integer. So we can tell the debugger to view this as a list by going DS list. There we go. It's got no data in it yet. We can take the next step, my list. Now we've added these variables. And again, don't worry too much about how we're interacting with the data structures. We'll have a specific tutorial on each data structure in a little bit. But we can see that my list now has 0, 1, 2, and 3 in it. And you can also see that a list is very similar to an array. Again, though, just for demonstration purposes, GameMaker Studio 2 doesn't know that this value right here is a list. We're telling it to look at it as a list. If we were to tell to look at it as a map, it would look like this. Now, we haven't even created this map, but when you run the debugger, or maybe always, I'm not actually sure, again, how GameMaker Studio 2 works under the hood, but you can see that there's another map out there with an index value of 0. I don't want this to be overly confusing, just again to point out that GameMaker Studio 2 does not know what this index is. It's just a zero. You always have to interact with that zero in such a way that GameMaker Studio 2 knows what you're doing. So here we've said DS list add, that's the built in function. We can use accessors as well. But you always have to tell it, even in the debugger, you have to tell it what that variable is. So now we're going to create a map. We got my map. Again, we're going to view this as DS map. I'm, I'm over here. It's an empty data structure. We're going to add some. We've added some variables to it here. We got greeting, uh, hello world. We have numbers, which is, in it, which is in and of itself an array. An important note here is that every data structure can hold other data structures of any type, such as an array or another data structure. We're going to create a stack. And again, note that stack has the same index as list because each type of data structure, at least currently in GameMaker Studio 2, starts at zero and counts up by one. So here we have a stack, view as DS stack, close this up, and it's an empty structure. We push those on, three, two, one, zero. Because of the way the stack works, they're gonna go on in sort of reverse order, or they'll look like they've gone on in reverse order. But if we were to just say, view this as a DS list, now all of a sudden, we're looking at the same thing. Because once more, GameMaker Studio 2 cannot tell the difference between uh, indexes. It doesn't know. There's no special data type. It's just a zero. So you always have to make sure that you're interacting with your data structures correctly. So next, we're going to demonstrate the accessors here. So here is the built-in function for finding the first value of the list, which we can see is zero. First, first list value indeed equals zero. But we could also use the accessor. This, this line right here is the exact same as this line. Again, this didn't change, it pulled the same value. And we have the same thing with the map accessor. So we can use the built-in function, dsMapFindValue, where we have to give it the value and the key. Note that this returns hello world, which if we go look at greetings, that value is hello world. And if we use the accessor, it's not gonna change, it's the same thing. And now let's pull these up. We want to destroy each of these data structures. We destroy our list invalid structure, destroy a map, invalid structure, destroy our stack, invalid structure, they're all destroyed. And again, we'll talk more about why you need to do this in part two. In summary, then, a data structure is a collection of data, how it's arranged, and the means of interacting with it. You can make your own, and you can also use one of GameMaker's six built-in data structures. 
When talking about the built-in data structures, there are a couple of things to remember. First, the data structure variable is a reference, but that reference is not a specific data type like it is with an array. It's just an integer. So you must always tell GameMaker Studio 2 what type of data structure you're interacting with, either with the built-in GameMaker functions or with the accessor. As always, the links in this slide will be below, along with links to the source code and the slides themselves. And that's it. Thanks for watching.